Well, today we're looking at the XTAR VC4 battery charger. So what I like about this one is really cheap and it's safe as well. So we can go through it. Uh, but first, I just want to show you externally what it does or what it has, I should say. As you can see here, for the protection that I was saying, it's got uh, reverse polarity. It's got short circuit, overcharge and overheating protection. So that's extremely good for a charger to have, right? So this charger is for unprotected batteries. Okay, so if you've got the batteries like, uh, for instance, these kinds, this is a 21700, 4000 milliamp battery, 3.7 volt. If you've got those kind of batteries, you know, you, you use them in torches or you could use them in radios, things like that. Like this one here is charged by a USB cable. Now, if you wanted to get a an actual wall charger like this, make sure you get one that's 5 volts, Okay. And that's basically it, really. That's the, the, the important bits, is the, the protection that it gives, okay? All right, so let's open it up. And that's the bag that it comes in. And it is like a like a rubbery feel to it, so it could be a little bit uh, splash-proof, I guess, if it's this kind of material. It's good that they give you a little bag, too. All right, so what we get in the bag, obviously the manual. And if it's your first time using a charger like this, especially on batteries that are unprotected, uh, make sure you have a good read of it. Goes into extensive detail. It's always good to be knowledgeable about your charger. And here is the charger. Now I've got the charger because I have the batteries. Like I said, I've got the 21700s. I got the 18350s and I got the D cells as well, which are the 26650s. 26650s. All right. So that's why I've got it. It shows you all the uh, battery sizes that it does. I don't know if you can see that. All right. So here's your cable. Now, the cable is, the cable is quite short actually, it's about a, a foot and a bit. And it plugs into the back right here. And I'll just plug it in. I'll show you how it looks. All right, so there it is. Okay, so as you can see, the outer areas here of these four slots, they're a bit wider. So obviously you would put your big Ds in those. All right. Now, the outer ones as well, the outer ports here, uh, they charge up at one amp and the middle ones charge up at 0.5 amps so it's half the strength so if you wanted to charge something you would put it on the outside for the full one amp and as you can see the indicator going up and that's charging and it shows you here that it's charging at one amp now if i was to take this out put it in the middle as you can see here it's charging at 0.5 and uh, well it's charging at 0.5 amps all right, so again on the outside, it goes all the way up to, to one amp. And it shows the indication here of how it's charging. Another good feature of this is it's got really good ventilation. All the way around it. The USB uh, wall adapter is not included. And that's why I said to you before to make sure if you do buy one, if you do want one, make sure it's uh, 5 volt charging. So now the green lights here indicate that there's nothing in the slots. And the red light indicates that something's charging. Okay. Now with the protection as well that it's got, you can leave it. You can leave it on overnight. I would suggest not to, but anyway, you can leave it overnight. Once the batteries are full, it will shut off, and will not charge anymore, and ruin your batteries. So I've got this one here. This is the one I wanted to test to see if it will fit, because it says it'll fit. So this is the uh, 18350. Let's put it in, and it charges. Look at that. One amp all the way to the top. So I'm happy about that. Now the big D cell is fully charged and it's charging at one amp, as you can see. Now let's put a couple of them in, see if it'll still charge at one amp. Okay, so both of them indicating that it's charging, and as you can see, it's dropped back a little bit down because you have two in there. Now, if we put the little one in as well, 
It's dropped out to 0 0.05 charging and it's charging all your batteries. It would have been nice to have indicators for all four slots, but you know, it is what it is. And I didn't need it to, you know, to charge up four batteries at a time because I only use one or two at a time. And you know, that's all I need to charge. Now, the other thing they were saying about the protection is um, reverse polarity. So if you put it in the wrong way, so you put it in backwards, nothing will happen. It will just say error and it won't be charging at all. And your battery is safe and you are safe as well. Let's try it with the little one. Nothing happens and you can see it's error. Oh, didn't take this off. Yeah, so that's what I wanted. I just wanted something easy and, and you know, just simple to use. And you could just throw on your batteries and you don't have to worry about it. And, uh, and that's it. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.